Hello, my name is Weston Belcher, b and Pro Staff. I'm here to share with you the how-to tip of the month. This month's tips on reel selection. I'm going to talk to you about the Bucks Ultralight, which I have paired with my Sam Heaton Super Sensitive Bottom Reel Seat 9 Foot Crappie Rod. I'm going to talk to you about the Pro Staff Spinning Reel, which I have paired with my 10 Foot Bucks Go Jig Pole. It's fall in North Texas and the fish are biting. On my home lake in Lake Louisville, I'm catching fish single pole jigging, two, to, two different patterns. The first pattern, I'm fishing around bridge columns and I'm catching fish suspended 14 to 20 foot over 20 to 30 foot of water. The way I'm doing that is I'm taking my jig to the bottom of my 10 foot jig pole. I'm knowing I'm at 10 foot deep. Then I simply pull off line and count down to 14 foot. The key to this technique is to have your drag set light enough that you can easily pull off line, but don't have it set too light that when you set the hook and pull a fish in, it easily strips drag. The other pattern I'm catching my fish is up shallow in a creek. The shad have started to migrate up in the creek. I've got a good pattern where I'm catching fish six foot deep. And doing that, I'm using my Bucks Ultralight uh, Crappie Reel. The advantage to this is it's a light reel to set my depth on my jig, I just simply pull line off the reel. The advantage to this is that once I hook a fish, I don't have to reel, I simply lift him in the boat, unhook him, and I can set my jig right back at that same depth. Check us out online, www.bnmpoles.com. I hope this crappie tip helps you put more fish in the boat.